Alright guys, welcome back to Buzz and Spots in Japan. Today we are having the food of the champions, Chankonabe or Chanka Hot Butt. Sumo wrestlers from all over Gifu come over here to eat Uoni. Let's see what this hot pot is all about. Follow me. As you can see, this place is as traditional as it can get. We have over here this very beautiful scenery with the lanterns and stuff. This made of wood is quite particular now in Japan. Like the, the, now, nowadays, there's not a lot of traditional places. I'm really excited to go over here. Come over here, guys. Alright guys, follow me. It appears we also have a counter and a second floor. Wow. I'm actually excited for this. Alright, so we have a lot of very interesting ingredients over here. We have shiroebi, which is a special sort of shrimp in here. We also have this special clam that you can see a lot in Japan called awabi. It's very delicious. It's sort of a kind of a hard type of clam, but I, I really love it. We have uh, also this special type of senbei, this special type of cracker. It looks, it looks amazing, and well, everybody pretty much knows this, right? Uh, shiitake, right? This is a special type of shiitake that they prepare over here, though. We also have a special type of fried fish, dojo no karage, right? Dojo fried. Uh, I think that's probably the correct term, but dojo karage. And it looks very, very interesting. I really want to eat that later. It's just, and look over there. Like they also have a very wide selection of alcohol. Me, I, I love alcohol. I love whiskey. I love shochu. I love anything that has alcohols in it. So I'm definitely gonna have a, a drink or two um, from those very interesting barrels. Well, we just saw the counter downstairs, but we also have a party room over here. Look at this, it's so big. You can fit probably about 20 people in here if you get like two to three tables. And you can have your little Japanese partying room, right? It looks really cool. Also, look at this, all this tapestry, all this kind of <laughs> ancient scrolls. I don't know if they're ancient, but it, it really, does give this this place that, that sort of Japanese look, right? Like that wa touch, right? Over here, this looks like very ancient. I'm I'm pretty sure this is very expensive, so I'm not gonna touch it. But just look at all of it. It's just beautiful. I wish I had one of these at home. All right, guys. Over here, we have the actual handprint of a sumo wrestler. You can see their hands are quite big. Mine looks like very very small in the picture but once well since this is pressed their hands are actually way bigger than this you know um and here we have the okami-san uh with us today she's going to explain to us a little bit about this thing going on over here <laughs> so what can you tell us about this あの、wow, did you guys just hear that? When when <laughs> when this place opened and actually Yokozuna, which is the top of of, of, uh, of the sumo for that year for that competition, I guess, uh, came to this place and and gifted us, well, not us because I'm not <laughs> and I'm not the owner, but gifted them this that's that's actually very big are you close on coming over here that's that's a great honor すごい。こう、声ですよね。なかなかもらえないものをいただいて、38年、39年飾ってあります。結構大事にされてますよね。そうですね。ありがとうございます。Alright guys. Here with us we have the Taisho or the owner, the big head of this place, right? Uoni. こんにちは。こんにちは。今日よろしくお願いします。so I want to talk to you, I want to actually ask you a few things about this, this place, right? Uh, first of all, how many years have you guys been in business? Ninety-six years, it's it's quite a lot. Wow, it's a lot. 
All right. How many generations has this place seen? えっと僕で四代目です。えっと僕のおじいさん、おじいさん、僕の父親、そして僕とずっと一族でずっと四代はい経営しております。Wow. And actually, guys, fun fact: the Okami-san of this place is his mother. <laughs> that's that's quite quite interesting, right? It's a family business, right? そうです。家族で経営してるんですよね。そうですね。All right, and also I also wanted to ask, like, what's the meaning behind uoni? はい、えっと、えー、昭和4年頃、えっと魚屋ですね。魚屋で創業して、私のおじいさんが二作って言うんですけども、その二作の二っていうのがウオニの二ですね。はい、で、ウオっていうのはまああの魚っていう意味なんですけども、なのでもともとは魚屋の二作さんのお店っていう本当簡単な意味でウオニ、まあそれがずっと今続いて、まああまりなんでってよく聞かれるんですけれども、はい。It's a very traditional name, right? Very simple, but it has its roots on on the family business, right? They were like a, a 魚屋さん。I don't know how to say that. Maybe maybe they sell fish. They they work with fish, right? And then they started like that. It's it's actually pretty interesting. And I see all of that over there. <laughs> that looks very good. I I'm going to have a little bit later, right? Do you like do you like alcohol? Do you like drinking? 大好きです。はい。<笑>なのでまあここに置いてあるのはあのまあ半分僕の趣味というかはいあの好きで集めたお酒が多いんですけれどもまあここら辺は焼酎ですねはいこれはえっとまあ地元の岐阜で作っているウイスキーです。I love whiskey。はい。<笑>あとはまあこの辺はジンこれも岐阜県で作っているジンなんですけれどもはいあのまあ大体仕事の終わり頃になると。ここら辺のお酒をまあ僕がピュッと飲んで<笑>お客さんと一緒に飲んでっていうことが大体毎日ですね。はい。That's amazing. So all of this is his collection. It's his personal collection, right? Some of those gin over there, they are actually made in Gifu. Some of those that he's acquired to the years, all over there, those those really are amazing clay pots, like traditional clay pots. They are actually shochu, which is a Japanese、uh, sort of alcohol. It's it's very close to sake, but it's a little bit different. And he he loves drinking. He loves whiskey. I love whiskey. I think we're gonna get along just well. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. I think I've talked about this before, but atsumami are like snacks for when you're having a drink, right? Coming over here, we have a very special type of clam called awabi. In Japanese, you say kori kori. A must have in any Japanese restaurant. Sashimi, right? Or deta kimenai. Here's a fun part about tempura. You eat it with rock salt. Look at that. Some soy sauce, and here we go. 